Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to compare fractions with different numerators and different denominators. So here's an example, 2 thirds compared to 5 eighths. Now remember in my other two videos I showed you how to compare fractions with the same denominators and how to compare fractions with the same numerators. And in the examples presented in those two videos, we learned that if the denominators are the same, the one with the greater numerator is of bigger value or of bigger size. And if the numerators are the same, the one with the greater denominator is actually the fraction that is smaller in size. So if you think about those two things, and that means if we are given two fractions with different denominators and different numerators, if we could find a way that we can either make their denominators the same or their numerators the same, then we can compare these fractions a lot easier. So, in short, I have two options in comparing these fractions. I can either make the denominators the same, or I can either make the numerators the same. And if I am you, I'm going to pick out the strategy that would probably be the most convenient, depending on the numbers that are in the fractions. In this case, I would go with, probably uh, start with making the numerators the same because I know right away that if I multiply 2 by 5, okay, I can have 10. But whatever I do to the numerator, I have to do the same exact thing to the denominators. I'm not changing the value of the fraction. So I would also have to multiply this by 5 and that will give me 15. So instead of 2 thirds, I can express it as 10 15th, and 2 thirds and 10 15th are exactly the same because they're equivalent fractions. That means they have the same size if we're talking about um, the same exact whole, right? And then I can also multiply 5 by 2, and that will also make it into a 10, and to make 5 eighths equivalent to this new fraction that I'm using here, I would also have to multiply 8 by 2, which makes it 16. So now I have 10 15th and 10 16th. And then remember that if the numerators are the same, the fraction with the greater denominator is actually smaller. So therefore, we can say that in this case, 10 15th is actually greater than 10 16th. So now, what if I want to use the strategy of maybe making the denominators the same? So I'm going to write it here. So 2 thirds comparing it to 5 eighths. Let's say I'm more comfortable changing the denominator so that the denominators are the same. So what we're doing here is we're not really doing anything extraordinary other than expressing 2 thirds and 5 eighths into their equivalent fractions so that they have something that is obviously in common. And in, with the first strategy, we made sure that what they have in common is the numerator, so it's easier to compare. In this case, we're going to try to make their denominators the same. Now, I know that if I multiply 3 by 8, I will get um, 24. And so I'd also have to multiply this by 8, so my numerator is going to be 16. I know that if I multiply 8 by 3, I'm going to get 24. And so I'd have to multiply this by 3 also, which gives me... 15. So remember that if the denominators are the same, the fraction with a higher numerator is actually a fraction of a bigger size. So once again, 16 over 24 is greater than 15 over 24, which tells us whether you're changing the numerators or denominators to easily compare two fractions. One thing is very, very obvious that 2 thirds is greater than Five eights. I hope this video helped you and um, just letting you know that there's more than one way, more than, uh, more than just th these two ways to look at fractions in order to compare them, but I think this is a good starting point. Thank you very much everyone for watching.